Hey there, and welcome to another video tutorial. Uh, and this one is an extension of the previous video, you know, where we install Comfy UI and I show you a little bit how to 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 use it basic you now basic commands and some guidelines in this new video i'm going to show you how to to extend comfy ui capability so first you maybe you don't have this one this is the comfy ui manager very helpful so we're going to see how to install it but also i'm going to show you how to install uh stable diffusion xl turbo which is mind-blowing okay so this one will let you generate uh images real time so here I already install I will show you how to do it, but look at, for, for instance, here I have my prompt, everything. So recall that previous images, you know, that were generated, it takes some time. So here, let's say that I already have it running and I will say something like Iron Man. Okay. And automatically we will read the prompt and it will generate the image. So let's see here. Okay. It's working. You have Iron Man. So let me say now Iron Man walking in let's say i know miami then in a sunny day drinking uh i know piña colada close to i know uh the coastline so as you see it's amazing everything real time uh the quality is not great because the idea here okay look here this is quite funny now <laughs> okay so the idea here is that you don't want to generate perfect images it's just to play with the prompt and also get some other options working and so on so we're going to see how this work. So at this point, uh, also my case, it was a little bit slow and recording everything. So I'm just sharing the GPU with the record, uh, recording tool, but the, the, this is quite fast. You need a decent uh, GPU. So let's say one with eight, uh, eight gigs of video RAM, it is enough. So let me go here and well, quite nice this one. It's impre impressive. Uh, so let's, go through the installation so let me close everything and to install this first let's go to the installation of uh comfy ue manager so here you have the the link okay where to install the installation is also extremely easy so here you have the steps so basically you need to go to this directory and then run this command line very important to run this command line you need to install uh, a git this application so git windows so here you have the link you can download i already installed the application so download this one or according to your operating system so if you're working in linux likely you already have it mac or windows maybe you will need to to download so install the application i'm not going to show you just follow uh use the default options okay so after you install that application you can open at a terminal window here and then execute this command so let's do it together so we were working the last time okay let me see here let me go up and the last time i put everything here so basically I have my base installation and go here and it was custom nodes, open a terminal and there you go. So when you open the terminal, if you type GIT, if you get this message, it means that everything is okay. If you don't get anything, uh, check now what is, what is the problem, try to reinstall or try to look in the internet how to solve the issue, but you should have it. If something is straightforward, you shouldn't get any problem. So now let's go and copy this, this line here. I need to copy this Put it there. And basically it's going to download everything and that's all. You have your installation and there you see. And at this point we can launch, uh, Comfy UI. Uh, also recall last time, let me go here and let me show you something. I put this auction here, but now 
if you put also this auction to show you the, the, the preview, how the, the noise is evolving and so on, you can erase that one because using the, the, the Config UI Manager, you, we have the option to access that. But also I want to show you that you can put there, Mr. Spell songs and put something that you know it doesn't exist. And let's try to, to run, to launch, just to show you something. So when you click there, it's going to give you an error and it's going to tell you, okay, that auction doesn't exist. This is the auction that you have available. So feel free to look at these auctions. I don't put in anything, but you can look in the internet to see what are the auctions. But for instance, you have low video RAM, you can enable this. And so you're going to get it. So uh, a small speed up, but usually with eight gig of memory is, is the minimum requirement. So you need to put anything, but that's all what I wanted to show you. So let's erase this when I raise the auto day as well. So this is the default one and let's, let me close here and now let me launch Comfy UI. So the first one also that you, you install the manager or you install new extensions. It might take a little bit longer than usual because it's loading everything. So let's wait a little bit. And there you go. So here launch and now immediately. So if you see this, you know that you have the manager installed. So let me move here. Let me clear everything. So here's how you clear your canvas, load the default canvas, and that's it. So if you click here, manager, you should access the manager. Very important. The first time that you open this one, just go here, update Comfy UI. So this one is going to update your installation if it needs to be updated. So I download it today. So I think hopefully I don't need to, to update it, but do it as well, because this is important. If you have an old installation and you, you have the latest update, you are not going to be able to run uh, XDL Turbo. Okay, so it's here, it's been updated. And when you update also close and launch again. So they claim no in this direction that they, they will say that, yeah, you need to, 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 to close. So in personal experience, sometimes it doesn't see the update. So it's better to close, close and open again. So this is it, as you can see, very easy installation and important. This is a step that we show you here with Git now that we download. This is one of the steps also to install now the, in the long way to install automatic 11.11, Comfy UI and so on. So generally everything is already included in the installation. Now you have this, the, the, the package that everything is inside there, but it's the one you can download Git and also you can download Python. You have to download the same ver the version that they recommend to here in order to, to, to run PyTorch and so on. So that's why I don't like because the, there are different versions in Python. Probably you have another version of Python in your computer. Personally speaking, I have an, a different version of Python. So that's why I don't want to to install that. But it's up to you. It's very straightforward. Okay. So you just download those dependency and you shouldn't get any error. So now that we have everything running and you go here again and you have everything if you want to install new nodes you click there and you can check search for for auction so there you have a lot of stuff so for instance here i would search for turbo or no ta, 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 uh, xl and you will see many extra auctions but also you have models so let me click there so models turbo and here you have the Turbo model. So you can click here to download the turbo model. I'm not going to, to click there because I already downloaded, but if you want to download that, okay, it will download it. Be careful that same price here. When you install a new model, I recommend you to close and open again. So when you use the manager, everything is going to install here. So you have the directories and you can find everything. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you that I, I prefer to put everything in automatic 11.11. So let me go here and I already put it in automatic 11.11. So let me go here to show you models and a stable diffusion. Also, I put it in subfolders. You can do this one now just to keep all everything in order. 
So you can have different. So I know that here I have the Turbo, the Excel, and whatever. So here I, I download it. You have two files. You have the FP16 and the standard one. So see that it's a big one. So use this one. So this means floating point 16 bits. So it's a, a smaller file, uh, file and much, much faster. So use this one. Okay, download this one. And remember, this takes a lot of space. So you need space in your computer. Be careful about that. So here I, I have four tera. So I think hopefully it's not a problem. So now you go back to Comfy UI. Remember also that in Comfy UI, in my case, I want to centralize everything in automatic 11.11. So if I go here, you have this file. And here you can point out that look for all your libraries here. So I'm putting all my models, everything there, but also you can put it directly in, uh, in this, Data in these directories and it will work the same. So this is the one look here and it doesn't find anything. It will look, look here. Okay. So when you install from Comfy UI, it will put everything in the original directory and then you can move. So now that we have this and um, I have uh, a, a, a XL Turbo, now we can run. So we have all these steps, we follow all our steps. So now go here, you have this link, okay? You have the Comfy UI examples and look for this one. So remember that we need to get our Compass. Here you have some basic instructions and you can download this image. You have all the meta metadata, how to create that. So let me show you how to enable uh turbo and let's see a little bit about what is happening there so here i have the image remember to load those templates you can use json files of the image so this image have all the metadata in code in code and there you go so this is your new workflow to use excel turbo and here you choose your, you can choose your library, so you have everything. So now I want to use this one, use the FP16, access the library, and there you go. So let's talk about a little bit what is happening here, because this is very similar to the, to the standard default workflow. There is a difference here in the sample. So look at that, we load the library, then we go to positive, negative prone, negative prone here, it doesn't, they don't do anything, okay? In X in the Turbo model, you get just the positive tron and a uh, prompt, and then this prompt is connected to your sampler. But look at that, this is a custom sampler. Okay, so this is one of the updates that you need to run uh, Turbo with uh, with Comfy UI. And here it will take your model, positive, negative, as usual. But then the difference now here is that you have also your latent image, but now you have a sigma. Okay, so this Sigma, it will point to the Turbo Scheduler and then you have the sampler here that you can select in the same way. So the difference here, it is just this Sigma and this sampler here, but the rest, it will be pretty much the same, nothing changed, okay? Uh, very important when you are using this library, you need to use CFG one or no more than two also and just one step that you have here okay you that is the idea well, that's why it's very fast okay because they don't it doesn't do all those steps it doesn't add any noise nothing so that's why it's very fast and it's the library also has been trained just to get fa fast output so this is the main difference and just to remind you the the standard workflow and let me go here and let me do it now i will load you load your checkpoint and remember that this checkpoint, you connect this to the positive trump, uh, prompt, uh, bam, 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 bam. here you have encoder and let me add another encoder and to show you the difference, the, there is not much. So you will have a positive and negative encoder, then this, it will connect it here. You connect it to a sampler, okay, sampler. In this case, this is different, it's a cost. Uh, it's a custom sampler. So that one, you will access that one here when you move. Let me show you. Uh, uh, you don't see it here, but then you go here and you look for whoop. search custom and there you go. And this is basically the sampler. Okay. This is the main difference now. So now let's keep connecting here. 
remember that now you have latent image. You put your image uh, there, your empty canvas, or you can add a, a, an image later. We're going to see that this is connected to your model here. And look at that pretty much the same, just the different here. And then from here, you go to your by decoder, this one connected here. And then here you get your image. So I will put the preview and there you go. You have, okay, your workflow there. So now at this point, uh, let's work. Okay, let's, let's start to use. So to erase this, let me load again, this, this one there. So hopefully now you know what is happening. So use the default options. Okay. So these options, remember one step, do not put any, do need, the, the noise not doing anything. Use the sampler. You can change it, but this tends to be the most efficient. Also the images, they need to be 512. Okay. You, in theory, you can use darker there, but it works the best using 512 and that's all. Remember this doesn't, doesn't do anything. And at this point you just can go crazy and type real time. So the first thing that you do Q prone. So in this case it's complaining because I not, I haven't selected the library. So I'll select this one, Q prone and look at here. It is loading the library. Then after it loads the library, then I start to read everything. And here I will get, uh, my output. So this is quite a nice image. By the way, this one is mute. So here is this is a, pre, a preview. Very important using the turbo put preview because if you are doing this real time. Then your output directory will go. It will get full immediately because you are saving. You, you are generating many many images real time. This one is mute. So here's the one to, to save the image. So there you can type Control M and you mute it. Okay, or you mute it and so on, or you can bypass. So I prefer to use the bypass option, which is not exposed here. So I prefer to use the bypass. So now that you have that one, and for instance, you change this and let's say that, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Aurora, well, let's, let me put that there. You click again here and it will generate your image and super fast. But however, you want to do this real time. You will want to, to click the here in, in Q prompt. So if you click here, extra options, see here that you have auto queue, enable auto queue. And now the auto queue will read automatically whatever you are doing here. So be careful about this. Okay. Use it with a uh, turbo. Then when you Stop using turbo disable because otherwise your prompt is always reading using a lot of memory. So now let me go and put it here. Uh, and let's say, uh, moon and let me put now. Okay. You Q. Okay. To enable everything. And now it should be reading everything real time. You see here the continuously reading. So now I go moon and then I will say rain, uh, wolf walking and blue snow panda eating a uh, nice screen. And there you go. This is mind blowing. And honestly, Remember the quality is not very good. Probably the quality of this is good because pretty much this model have been trained a lot with this image, but this use it to, to practice the prompt. Okay. How to use the prompt and so on. And then when you get familiar with the prompt, when, when you get that right combination of keywords, you can move and generate high quality images. So now let me raise this and let me do something else. So now let's say that. For instance, what, what do I want to do? So see that it's always continuously reading the prompt. So now well, I'm looking at the wall. So I would say a wall, bricks. Uh, okay. Let's let it roll. Let's see. You have the wall was brick bricks. So you have blue is sky. 
with uh I don't know graffiti I miss mean, spell graffiti and then let's see what what it will do it will put a graffiti so I say that you have a graffiti there a hole and then let me add razor wire let's see if you have the hole there and now it will add the razor wire and there you go you have some razor wire so pretty pretty amazing uh so let's do something else so let's see what comes to my mind okay let's use the poor pikachu i have destroyed pikachu using all this stable diffusion and stuff i always use it so let's see what happens with pikachu so quite cool quite nice so let's say that i want pikachu with a cowboy hat let's see what happened there and there you go well you put a baseball hat okay i misspelled that but let's say pikachu uh mohawk hair style I'd let me add a mohawk let's see what happens and then let me add okay quite cool you have the mohawk with uh then let me add uh boom 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 sunglasses riding a scooter okay quite cool and let's say hyper realistic so those are those specific style triggering war. So let's see what it will do. And there you go, M much better. So see that it's a quite cool uh, outcome. So I recommend you here practice your prompts. I'm talking about prompts because here everything is about prompts uh, styles. So here also you can use it to 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 practice styles. So for instance, styles. Let's say Joan Miró style. If you type a name or an artist, whatever, and if you see the output and you get something in the output, you know that that style, it is encoded. So I know that Miro style is encoded and you can do the same, well, let's say Dali style. And spring in there and there you go so i know it is encoded then andy barhol for sure this one is also encoded and there you go then for instance now i will use jane doe which is nobody and if you don't see anything you don't have that style so it will put you there a random image and that's it you don't have that style um for instance let me put so i don't know i don't know for any style so i get this let's see what i get now okay so i got that and i not encoded it there so probably a little bit racist i don't know but in any case i don't want to go into details there so this is how you you look for styles and so on so now let's go and do an actual so at this point, I hope you get an idea how to keep working. Remember, when you stop using this, please disable this. Otherwise, it will keep reading, reading, reading. Also, do not say images because otherwise your computer is going to get full immediately. All, everything that you are doing is being, being safe. Uh, also, do not use the preview auction. That when, Remember that we put our preview auction. Do not use that one because it will slow down everything later i'm going to show you for instance manager you go here in the manager and if you want to enable that preview put here auto you need to restart nothing and let's go here uh uh baseball baseball in winter oh, okay i need to enable here the so now enter there, pass here, and see that you have this preview. This is the preview I mentioned. So do not enable that with Turbo because it's going to slow everything. So here you, you can see now did they know you see everything, but you're not going to see anything here because it's just one single step. So pretty much it's useless here in Turbo, so disable. And now if you generate again, 
uh, baseball. There you go. So work with this. So now let's do something a little bit more practical. So let's say that I want to do uh, a man running. So I enable my auto queue and there you go. So you have the man running and these are stuff now that those keywords all you can put here. Sometimes, very often, you will see that in the prompts that people put like this. It's pretty much equivalent. So you can put two and running. Let's say, what do we get? And you can get there. So, well, it's not counting. So sometimes those, those con the concept that counting is quite difficult not to, to get it. But yeah, you can get something. The same, you can do like two women running. Let's put two women. Let's see, what do we get there? And there you go. Then you see that we have a frontal view, for instance, let's say side view. Let's see what we get there. I'm probably uh, warm and running. Up. There you go, the side view, probably you put back view. Back view and then frontal view. So you can play like that. So this is a, a beautiful to play now, as I say, with prompts. Then you have, I love this one when I do landscapes, I put this drum views. So you get beautiful images and then you can start to go with stuff like, I don't know, photo professional, hyper realistic. So you will have all those you know, buzzwords and so on. So I recommend, you know, again, just get your prompts and then the best combination. So here I have something like this, like you can put it there and that would improve something. So see that. And there you go. So now I want to work with this one to get something, but let's use this one. Okay, a woman running, you have here your preview. And I have this. And let me make it a little bit different. So I'm a woman running a marathon. Okay, so probably I want some crew and strips and stuff. And bam, 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 bam. There you go. Cool, nice. So remember, these are low quality images. So see that it's a little bit ugly, the face, the people there, so on something, but this can be improved. So what, I'm, what we're going to do now is we're going to save this image. And then this image, we're going to open another workflow on Oxcaler, and we're going to Oxcale this image to improve the quality. So for instance, you can, a woman running, Marathon, or probably let me put like Boston Marathon. I know is that is a thing. Is it probably exists? I think it exists. I don't know. Any case, and there you have. Let's do so. Probably we'll try to put some Boston landscape, and well, you have UF flags and whatever there. So let's say that I'm happy with this, and actually let's put two women running. So counting is a little bit abstract, so we can have problems. So let's see what happens. So yeah, I put three, but okay, I'm happy with this. And let me save this image, save image, and I'm happy. Okay, this is my this is the image. Okay, at this point, I invite you to play with this. This is crazy. I really like it. You can use it also in, uh, by the way, with automatic 1111. I have to be honest, here you have this link. And in the video description, you will find it. So I have it to. I have to be honest. I didn't manage to get it work with automatic 11.11. So here you have the instructions how to put it. But also, if you get it working in automatic 11.11, you don't have the auto queue option. So you always need to 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 click in generate generate. So it's a little bit annoying. Instead, with Config UI, you have this auto queue uh, option. So disable this. Very important. Disable that option. Now we have uh, an image. I download my image. 
and let's use another workflow. So let me go here. And if you go into your examples here in the website, you will have different options. So here you have Ox scalers, let's see where Ox scale is on examples how to do Ox scaling and so on. So basically, remember that you just download the image and then just drop it in your canvas or the JSON file and you can have it. So in my case, I have a specific workflow that I want to use, and it's this one. So this is an Ox scale workflow for, for Ultra. I put it there just to very specific. So basically, what I am doing here, let me show you. So now this is your standard workflow, but now we added aux scaling. So let me go here and you choose your model. So I downloaded already the latest now journal library. You have your prompts, very important. This prompt, I'm going to show you what, what, what we're doing. You have positive, negative prompt. Now you have the standard sampler. Here you go to your autoencoder and here you link Okay, I have two links here. One, to I'm going to upscale the image using this method, but also I'm going to upscale the latent space. So you have two options. And let's say in my personal experience, I think upscaling the latent space is better. You get better result, but also you get good result with the image. Well, it is up to you. So here you have this workflow that I'm putting bosses in the image. Okay, and then the latent space of scaling. Uh, then here, well, you see this new stuff is just to, to reduce the cluttering. So I put divide here and then you start to, to divide. So here also case sampler and the difference here that now we're reading an image. So this is the other difference that you are going to find. So previous cases, what we have is this, uh, let's say you double click here, you have latent so previously in the standard workflow it is an empty latent that you connect here but now for us it's not going to be empty it is an image so instead of putting that empty you go here and you go and add a scale latent by then connect to the encoder and then this encoder is going to be connected to low image instead of the empty. So basically here, that is what I'm doing. Okay. This is my aux scaling of this image that I'm going to, to load. You can directly co connect this latent to the image here, but you are not going to aux scale the latent space. So that's why we have this in between steps from here, aux scale using this method autoencoder and you have this image here. So here you can choose. And I think what was the image? Probably this one. You can load your image and there you go. So you have the image. Let me see. Okay. You have your image. And voila, you are done. Uh, to remind you also about your installation. So here in output, you have all your outputs. And then in input, you're going to have the input. So images, everything that you're putting is going to be here in inputs. Okay, so let's review. Your model connected to your prompts. In this case that we're reading this image, you want to use the same prompt as previously, otherwise it's going to change. So see that we have here two women or three women, whatever. But in this one, I have a man running Boston Marathon. So pretty much it's the same, but it is a man now. And also I put, it is raining. Then I put all these boss words here like to control and negative, uh, your negative prompt. So now the negative prompt, it works. It's not like in the turbo that this doesn't do anything. Now it works. So now the sampler, you do all your standard stuff. And let's click here, Q, and let's see what happens. Okay, so bam, 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 bam. Ah, okay, so I launched a second one. So if you click here, view Q, you can delete the second one. And by the way, if you're wondering how to stop, click here. So remember, you have view Q, and here you can see what is running. And then if you want to stop it, cancel, and that's all. So be careful if you click several times in Q prone, everything entering Q. So if you want to erase, then just cancel. Okay, so now. My sampler, it is 
here doing all in latent space, all the noise and everything using these parameters. I fix the values. And now here I'm going to have now first, this will be the ox Okay, here I have my first image coming from this. You have this image passing through this with this ox scaling and see that it completely changed because now I'm telling a man running and you get this. It is getting the style, okay, pretty much the, the similar style, but you change the, the character. And then you have this one that this is now the pixel scaling. So here you have latent space scaling and then pixel scaling. Uh, again, I'm putting preview, okay, here, but you can, you, you can add the link to save. Oh, I don't want to save all these images, so be careful about that. So let's talk about what is happening here. So first here, the, the noise, let me here disable this one, bypass. I don't want to do this image again. And let's go here and let's talk about the noise, okay? So if I put zero one here, so this is how close it will be to your image, a starting image. In this case, the noise is important. When you use text, the noise have to be one because you, you want it to, to, to to be close to, to, to your prompt. But when you have an image, you can play with the noise. So let's put here zero one. Okay, so zero one means be as close as possible to this image. Q prompt. So I see that it's working here, doing all the denoising and whatever. I disable the auction, by the way, I can enable that. In this case, I can go how to i don't recommend you to put that because usually will also slow down the image generation but if you want to see how the noise is being generated just put it there so to repeat again take the image pass by the here this method which is a ox scalar connect here in here you have this latent space of the image plus this prompt everything is combined and then you get an output here so see that this is our output it is pixelated, and this is very important. When you are using this method, it is recommended to use a value 0.5 or more. One, it would be a lot of the noise, completely different, but as you put a low value, you get this pixelation because you are in latent space. So the latent space, you need to add uh, a big value, a value more than 0.5. Instead in pixel space, you can add small values. So let's go and to show you 0.5. And this is a nice example because you can now play with this auction and see the influence. So no need to say, so here you have now the, your latent space. So see that now it is trying to resolve the same style of the image, but remember that we put here a man running. So now it's substituting the women by men. We have men here. Now it will add all the denoise, everything and so on and convert there to this one. So this would be kind of equivalent to, to control net that we, we show already with automatic 11, 11, but it's not properly control net, the control net, but it's kind of a similar technique. And now here we're going to get our output and see that we have this. So quite cool. So this is ox scaling in latent space, which I think it gives better results, but well, it's difficult to to say, but you will read that the community, generally speaking, they do agree that it's better to do this one. And then you have ox scaling in pixel, pixel space. So if I zoom in here, you will see what is happening. So look at the shoes, the resolution, you will see the difference in resolution you now in, in the details. So this one will, will be resolved better there. Okay, so quite cool. So hope here you have a, a better gist of how to do this scaling. But now I want to be as close as possible to my original image. So remember that now we're mixing image with prompt. So let's go here and say that uh, two women running Boston Marathon. I want to raise the rain in here. I don't want it there. And let's 
get it there. So it's extremely recommended. Now, if you want to keep the same image, now you get you have an image and you want to keep you no know, the same characteristic, just use the same prompt that you use in egg in turbo or whatever technique, but the previous prompt try to keep that prompt and then also you can play with the negative. Okay, so I put this negative prompt. Uh be careful with negative prompts and I would let's finish this. Okay, while it works, uh you have some negative prompts and look at that. I have this one here. It's quite a strange prompt. So these people used to use it at the beginning, well, probably less than at the beginning, it's like eight months ago. Like those models were trained, and but the quality wasn't so good. So see that how how strange are these negative prompts? I, I don't want deformed iris pupil. I don't want mutilated extra finger, mutated hands, poorly drawn hands, poorly drawn face, mutations deformation, dehydrated, bad anatomy, extra malformed limbs, missing arms, missing legs. So yeah, it's quite strange you now, but this was at the beginning, honestly, with today's models, you now the XL model and models keep improving. You need to put this or you need to put, you, you, be, you need to be so extreme. So honestly, for me, it is close enough like, blurry naked avoid naked no this is now safe to have seen safe for work i don't want to allow about that but you can do also sony images not safe for work so this is more than enough and probably bad anatomy it will be the other uh, you can add but on with xl very strange I see extra fingers or missing legs and stuff like that in the turbo when you generate no people, you will see that you will ha have those errors, but this high quality model now. So look at that now, we're very close to this one. And this is very impressive. Let's say darn impressive. Okay, so latent space scaling. And now here you have your pixel scaling. And if you zoom to the shoes, look at the shoes there, and you can see here the details are a little bit better here in this like, scale it oh it still it is suppressed so so let me enable so now i enable this one iq and it's going only to do this one because all this information is already exists so now it's doing the upscaling using this method so there are different methods okay and using this one that in my experience is the best one, but you can install different aux scaler. So you can go to the manager and here mall, you have aux scaler or scale and you have different methods. So I think this is a quite cool one. So you can install that one. So let me go and never bah, if you install, you need to close off, but you get the idea. So now that I run that one. Let's see the difference. So here, see that is a little bit now. The quality is not so good and now much better. So here is like the pixel level. It kind of it will try to add more information there. So this is how a aux scaling work. You have the two approaches. Play with them. I prefer the, the one at the latent space level but you can do the two levels so you go get the image latent space level and then pass and use another aux scale in, in the pixel of space but this one tends to be sometimes too aggressive so you see the kind of here it's too sharp here is more it merged better with the now with the with the background okay so hope that you have an idea what is happening by the way also as you want to save whatever you have done you can save there and you have your JSON file with all the information. So at this point, the most important thing is that get familiar with your it's default. And let me load here. You have it here. So let's see if I'm missing something, all the connections I explained here, whatever. So let me load the default. Okay, get familiar with this. So we're starting with this default, then all those combinations, crazy combinations that you are going to see that maybe you, you are not going to understand, you're going to get it better. Okay, so this is the spaghettification as I mentioned. So for instance, let me erase this connector and here you can add this root root. So previously you saw that, that, that box there. So sometimes to put things in order, it can be handy 
to reroute everything now in this node. So you connect everything here and then you reroute it here. You go positive and then this one here. Well, this is okay, the wrong way to reroute. And from here, you can go negative and okay, it's the wrong way. Now, don't do it in that way just to show you what is happening, but you can add those boxes in that way. So, probably, yeah, it would be better to reroute here. So, let me erase here. So, that's you do it just to order everything. So, click here, reroute move here here put here and put here okay so you declutter your space this one goes to negative this one goes to positive and negative this is okay here and yeah and then you can generate your image and there you go so also you can just at color so for instance you can put this one red and so on so that would be up to you put shapes and so on then here for instance let me go erase this one and put here and you have search and you can go image empty uh, 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 uh. okay latent scale so you can go like this and then you can add your image and so on like in the previous case so always you can search for for new options to connect things and so on okay so at this point i think I, i'm done so use the this workflow that i show you interesting thing that here you have SDN Turbo, just get familiar with the Turbo, just the prompt, okay? Just play, play, look for the styles and everything just to get familiar. If you're using this one and at one point you like an image, you can save that image and then use the same technique that show you that save that image and then I have this specific prompt. So I will upload it. I will put the link so you can download, but you can reproduce this one easily. There is no problem. So thank you for your attention. See you next video. Bye.